that boy got range. She a shooter, I tried to tell you. Keep killing him. <laughs> you better put a hand up. Woo! You see that? Shooter Brand presents the Shooter of the Month. This is Rio with I'm a Shooter Brand. Oh. My Shooter of the Month is. Naomi Perry, class of 2026. I go to Mardi Day High School. My name is Aoki Perry. I'm class of 2028. I go to Perry Elite Academy. All right, let's meet our shooters. So I see you both got on fresh kick. Yeah. Tell the people yeah. what kicks you got going on in the so, upcoming season. Um, we I got Kyrie Infinities. They're like red, and then I also got these kicks. They're like the K new KDs. Um, funny thing, I actually got these from my club coach. I don't think anybody has them right now. I don't think yeah, I don't need them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have some Kyries. Um, they're new and. Kyrie's are my favorite shoes, and I mostly get them all the time when I get new shoes. So you guys got your headphones in, you know, you guys getting pumped for a game. What go-to order that y'all listen to to get y'all, like, lit? Uh, that's definitely, like, Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole. Okay. They're valid. <laughs> Kendrick, I, I listen LA. to lyrics. Lyrics, huh? Lyrics. <laughs> they have to speak to me, yeah. Drake, I really like... Listening to Drake, it really gets me pumped up before the game. And he's my favorite artist. So, um, tell the people what's y'all favorite, you know, basketball team and what um, player that y'all think y'all can play our game to? I, I want to say the Lakers. Is that hard? <laughs> the, Not really. The Lakers? Say right now. It's okay. Um, do you got a Do you got a WNBA favorite team as well? Yeah, I'm pretty biased with the spark. No, Minnesota. I love watching Minnesota. Um, my girl Ariel Powers, shout out to her. Okay. <laughs> She's really killing it over there. So I love watching her. Um, I really like the Chicago Sky. Just yes, watching sir. Candace Parker. Yes, sir. Um, she is really my idol and inspiration to go to the WNBA. Las Vegas is killing it, though. Yeah, Las Vegas yeah. is. Las Vegas is. So tell the people why it's so important to be a student athlete. So why you gotta hit the books before you hit the court? Jeez, you know, um, my bio teacher likes to bring this up all the time, and my parents. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, you'll have like athletes, they'll be like super freak athletes, but the thing that separates you from like a freak athlete and yourself will always be the books, because the books, nobody focuses on the books. So if you can get a good high grade, like your grades are just on point and your sports are on point, then that, then colleges will want you a lot more than that freak athlete. I mean, it, it's pretty obvious. You gotta hit the books, <laughs> you gotta hit the books. Um, I think books have a lot of, I mean, it plays a huge part in your confidence and you can get into a lot of colleges 
So I think like being a student athlete, if you have like good grades, then that also shows colleges that you're like, very punct punctual, hardworking. Um, you're like morally sound, you come from a good background. So they could trust you more than like the super freak athlete who they know nothing about for academics. Um, being a point guard, what would you say the best thing about leading the team? I think being a point guard, it like really does give you more confidence because you feel like everybody looks up to you. So you have that big, big um, responsibility of just like wanting to know every spot where you should be, where other people should be. Um, you're able to teach your players th uh, things that you've, la you've learned. So yeah. Um, being a point guard uh, makes me a leader and being a leader makes me have a lot of confidence in my team and knowing what they can do. So obviously your dad is a great athlete, great basketball player. Tell the people what's your mom is starting to you guys that you bring each and day on the basketball court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring them out, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yo, so my dad is a really good athlete, but I feel like without my mom, I would not be as tough. <laughs> she has that Long Beach tough, like, she won't take nothing from nobody. So I feel like she's taught me that, and then she's also taught me to like be very punctual and like respectful and grateful. Yeah, she's, she's taught me a lot of things that sports hasn't taught me, but it just goes hand in hand. Um, so my mom has a lot of confidence, as you can tell. <laughs> right. Um, she gives me a, a lot of inspiration too. Um, I think that's where I get most of my confidence and she does give me a lot of pep talks and I really feel like she is a big part in my life. She, she's a really good motivational speaker. I'm not gonna lie. She'll get you pumped up for anything. I'm over here crying, man. Give me a tissue, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so for the people, who would you say the better athlete? Oh my. Do you not see his muscles? <laughs> Me! My explosive. Yeah. Man, everything. Go ahead. What? I want to hear your First argument. First of all, muscles don't matter. It's how many buckets you get. Yes. Yeah! And I outscore you every time. I outscore you. I outscore you. I rebound you. Every yeah. coach is like, hey, mate, mate. I don't hear him say, okay, whatever. Whatever you want. Oh man, that was crazy. Um, so obviously you're a freshman, you know, yeah. coming into high school. What is your, you know, team goal and what are your individual goals? So my team goal is win CIF. Um, I really want to focus on just, and it doesn't matter that I'm a freshman. Uh, I want to be able to play like I've been in high school for like three years already and like be a good leader and just know what I want on the court. Don't like be scared. I'm. I'm a freshman, but don't think like a freshman, you know? And so that's CIF. And then also with portional goals, I want to be freshman of the year. And um, I, just, I just also come in for that Gatorade Player of the Year, yes. McDonald's All-American, yes. everything, all, my, all four years. Uh, when I want to go into high school, I want to be the top player on that team. And I really love to play with my sister, and I feel like we'd be a good duo. And I would like to be a good leader and be freshman of the year. She's gonna make me cry. Yeah, I know. I know. Yes, sir. I don't want to think about her in high school yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what do you say your biggest strength is on the basketball court? And if you got any weakness, what you think you need to work on? Um, my biggest strength is getting to the rim. Like I could get to the rim whenever I want. And then my pull up is pretty nice. Uh, I also think I'm like a pretty good vocal leader. Like I've been told I will just yap, yap, and yap on the floor. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, we see it. And then um, also I'm like everywhere. I feel like the biggest thing I should work on is like I work too hard on the court, which I should probably conserve energy a little bit. I feel like my biggest strength is shooting, and I can handle the ball really well. Um, 
I really love playing with my team and I feel like we can win a lot. And, um, I feel like I need to work on getting to the ring stronger and just being more of a leader. There's always yeah. things you can work on. Always. Yeah, always. You can never be perfect. Facts. Um, what would you say, what is your definition of a shooter? Someone who's not afraid, like, never hesitant. They don't hope the ball goes in, they like, no. Or, they're never praying, you know? They just right. know. Um, I think a really good shooter is being confident in the shot and shooting when they're not having a good game, um, when they're like, breaking shots, and they keep taking their shots. Tell the world what's one thing that you're proud of your sister for. You know, I'm very proud of her because, you know, she, she's a pretty small guard, but she's able to break the narrative of just playing small. She's able to, like, shoot really well for her age and her size, and she's just so quick. So <laughs> sometimes it's hard to guard her, but I'm not going to say if when, when we're going, like, once. But I'm just I'm just proud of like how hard she's working and like she's really doing well in school and wanting to study. Finally. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I'm proud of my sister for accomplishing a lot of her goals and doing really well in high school and she's really doing well in everything she does. And I'm proud of her for that. Good job, good job. So what is the similar competition? Obviously your sister is very competitive between you guys. <laughs> how, how competitive does it get? Uh, it gets heated. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll go on full fights. We might even like actually put like, you know, we'll like hit each other. <laughs> but but then it's like right after the workout, we'll like hug and right. make it's friends. Competi yeah, it's yeah. competition. That's, that's love. Um, it's really competitive since she's like the older sister and she talks a lot of trash. <laughs> it makes me want to go even harder at yeah. her and make me want to win. <laughs>